For nearly four years, the Barbarian King has been one of the fiercest troops within the game Clash of Clans. Alongside his queen, they are quite the power couple. But how did these two come to be? Today, I'm going to tell you the story of how the Barbarian became the Barbarian King. Let's start way back at the beginning, back in 2013. On January the 10th, 2013, it was just a regular day in the Clash Village, where troops were going about their daily lives, barbarians and hogs were having arm wrestles, archers having shooting contests, giants boxing, goblins stealing, and builders building. It was another average day in the village. Until two barbarians came across an abandoned balloon and decided to take it for a trip. The two barbarians got into the balloon and set off. They went whichever way the wind would blow them. After sailing for almost an hour, they both got very thirsty and realized that there was only one small container of water. One of the barbarians, whose name was Barbare, decided to be selfish and drink almost three quarters of the water, and only giving his friend Ian one quarter. Ian wasn't too happy about this, but didn't faze him too much since he didn't want to start a fight with him, mainly because Barbare was bigger than Ian and would most likely kick his butt if they ever fought. Anyways, shortly after, they came across a new island. This island is not to be confused with other islands that have recently been discovered. There was no master builder or battle machine on this one, and when they sat down, they took a quick look around and found that the place was empty, and they were the only ones there. Then after a bit more exploring, at the center of the island, they found something brand new that they had never seen before. They found a small waterfall and a small lake filled with a black liquid. Ian, who was dying of thirst since Barbare didn't share much with him, didn't care that it was black, and just dove in and took a big gulp. After satisfying his thirst, he got out to rejoin his friend. Barbare also tried a small sip of the black liquid, but not too much since he was still a bit full from the water that he drank earlier. Ian thought it would be a good idea to refill their small container with some of the mysterious black liquid, just in case they got thirsty again. They didn't have too much time to examine the black liquid or any more of the island, because as Ian was getting out of the small lake, some storm clouds began to form above them. So they rushed back to their balloon and set flight back home. As they started flying off, the storm began to get worse. Wind started blowing them back and forth, rain was pouring down, and lightning was striking all around them. The storm was like nothing they'd ever seen before. The barbarians thought to themselves that the wizards must have finally finished upgrading that lightning spell. But then all of a sudden, a bolt of lightning came and struck the balloon, sending electricity through both of the barbarians' bodies. The jolt of electricity ended up sending Barbare overboard, and he fell into the ocean, badly injuring himself. Unsure of whether or not he would be able to swim to shore, and then the electricity ended up knocking Ian unconscious, and he fell asleep. Let this be another night To tie around my bed at night I know I've lost the fight To erase your face, my mind Awake, I lie here staring up beyond the sky When Ian woke back up, he realized that the balloon had carried him all the way back home. He had to go tell everyone what happened. He grabbed his sword and the container of black liquid and ran off towards the town hall. As he ran through the village, he got weird looks from everyone, but he ignored them. When he made it to the town hall, he began telling the story but got cut off halfway through when the wizard asked him, Who exactly are you? Ian, who was extremely confused, told them, It's me, Ian. Then he caught a glimpse of himself in a mirror. He looked nothing like he used to. He stood almost three feet taller and was as big as a giant. Not to mention, he outgrew his clothes and was standing in the middle of the town hall butt naked. After covering himself up, he told everyone what happened and showed them the black liquid. The wizard suggested that the lightning had a reaction with the black liquid and made him bigger and stronger, and that he should use his newfound powers to help the village within the next battle. The next day, they went into battle. It was an all-out attack using tons of each troop. All around him, Barbarians were getting smashed left and right, but when he started being targeted, he didn't die. He was able to soak way more damage than any other Barbarian. Then when the battle had ended, when all the troops turned back into Alexer, he just stood there, waiting for himself to turn into Alexer too. But he never did. So he decided to head back to the village. The wizard was shocked to see him again and figured that along with super strength and health, he was also immortal now. So as the days went on, he would go and fight more battles, and come back each and every time. He had won their village many battles, and to thank him for his contribution, they built him an altar.
where he could regain his strength by sleeping there. Then one day, a builder discovered a black liquid supply underneath the village, and built a drill to help dig it all up. It was the same black liquid as the one Ian had drank before, and they decided to finally name this liquid. They decided to call it Dark Elixir. To thank Ian some more, they gave him some Dark Elixir, and Ian drank it all and then fell into a really deep slumber. He did not wake up for nearly a day, and when he finally did wake up, everyone noticed that he grew a little bit and he felt a little bit stronger. The villagers thought that if they kept feeding him this, then he could keep growing and become unstoppable. So they started farming Dark Elixir and stealing it from other villages. And after feeding him the Dark Elixir three more times, he developed a new superpower. When in battle, he could burst out into a rage and summon some mini Ians to fight alongside him. Ian was so powerful and so strong that every base he attacked, he was victorious. The village decided to crown him king. After all he did for the village, they gave him his crown. And to this day, he continues to fight alongside the villagers and defend them from other invasions. He was the village's only savior and their only hero. At least he was, until she came along. But that's a story for another time. Thank you all so much for watching my story on the Barbarian King. Make sure you smash that like button to save Barbar so that we can find out what happens to him. And also comment down below what story you would like to have told next. Anyways, have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.